The process overlap features allow us to use one shape to intersect another in several different ways. These are called weld, divide, remove overlap and subtract. For this function to work it's important to know which shape is on top of another and while they have no fill colour that's very difficult to do. Although we can see in the layers panel over on the right which shape sits on top of another it's easier for us to apply a fill and see. So I will select the objects and apply a fill colour. Now we can see that for these four examples the triangle sits on top of the circle whereas for the last two the triangle sits behind. The reason for this will become evident as I show you each in operation. You find the process overlap functions in the edit tab on the right towards the bottom. Currently they are greyed out because I have no shapes selected on the cutting mat. So let's select the first two and you will see now that they are lit up or illuminated or coloured blue. The first function that I will show you is weld and that's where you fuse two shapes together to create a brand new shape. And there you can see the outlines of both shapes have been merged into one and the properties from the shape sitting on top, i.e. the fill colour, have been applied to the whole shape. Next I'll show you divide. That's the second option along. And what this does is intersect the shapes wherever they overlap and keeps all the resulting shapes available for us to use. So we have the part of the circle where the triangle punched through. We have the part of the triangle where the circle punched through. And we have the part in between. Remove overlapped is the third option along. And what this will do is take the top shape and punch it through the bottom shape and keep both shapes available for us to use. So in this example the triangle was sitting on top whereas if I show you this second example where the triangle sits behind we can see that this time the circle punched through the triangle. Subtract acts in a similar way however when you process the function it removes the shape that was sitting on top. Again, I will show you with an alternative example. And there we can see the circle punched through the triangle and removed the circular shape. How and when you apply these to your project is entirely up to you and entirely down to the project you are creating. But I would definitely encourage you to have a go at using these now and get familiar with where you find them and how to use them because they can make a big difference in designing your projects.